This is the Helios 44-2 58mm lens. Manufactured in the Soviet Union between the late 1950s to the 1980s, it's become a little bit of a cult classic lens for a number of reasons. The dreamy swirly bokeh that this lens produces is, quite frankly, incredible, along with the fact that it has an incredibly cinematic rendering of skin tones. Now, because this lens was produced so abundantly in the Soviet Union, it can be a little bit tricky to pick up a version online. Doing some digging there are several different factories that produce this lens and people online have varying opinions around which one you should try and pick up to get the best version. It was all getting a little bit confusing and I just wanted to get a copy of this so imagine my delight when my dad said he actually had a copy that I could use. Very nice. So this is it right here. You'll notice a manual aperture ring and a manual focus ring, both of which have a nice dampened feel. It's not too big and an all metal construction gives it a nice weighty feel. Now, most of these lenses are the M42 mount. So I ordered an M42 to Canon EF adapter off eBay and I thought I'd be ready to go. The first sign of danger was when that adapter didn't actually fit this lens at all. I tried to put it on, but the mount on this one was a little bit too small. It turns out the version that I've got is actually an M39 mount which is slightly different and I picked up a cheap adapter off eBay to make sure that I could fit it on my camera. I took this lens out to shoot some photos of Liz in Notting Hill with the Blossom. Now a couple of things started to not go to plan. Firstly there wasn't that much Blossom and secondly I found out that this lens couldn't focus to infinity. This could just be my cheap eBay adapter that's not up to the task, but it meant it was a little bit frustrating because I couldn't get any full body portraits or any kind of street style shots. It looks like I was gonna be limited to head and shoulders, waist level portraits, and maybe some product images at the same time. But all wasn't lost, I started to try and get some headshots and I was quite impressed. The rendering is really pleasing, surprisingly good contrast throughout the frame, sharpness in the centre is excellent, and the portraits had a really distinct look to them. I feel like you can tell that these are shot on a vintage lens. Despite the focus issues, I think that this lens might have a place in my camera bag. It has a really distinct look and the skin tone rendering is really lovely. I could use it for headshots and portraits as well as product photos. Here on my YouTube channel, I'm always taking photos of lenses and things like that and it would be excellent for something like that. I even used it for some video. These shots were on my Canon R5 and I feel like the in-body image stabilization really worked wonders with this lens. Everything is handheld and I feel like it is really cinematic and really shines in this kind of context. But finally, kind of the elephant in the room, I picked up this lens or I wanted to for such a long time to try and get some of that infamous swirly bokeh and I didn't manage to get that much of it. Some of the portraits I took, especially in Notting Hill with the buildings in the background, I feel like that kind of background didn't quite suit this lens to get the full swirl. I needed some kind of foliage. When I've managed to get the foliage, you can see the effect, but it is quite subtle. It's nothing like some of the examples that I've seen online. So I decided to do some digging. What exactly was going wrong here? Was it something that I did? Was I not shooting wide enough open? Was the background or lighting conditions not exactly what I was expecting? And it was at this point that I noticed that this copy of this lens is not actually a Helios 44-2. It's the original Helios 44. It's the older brother, the original version, the slightly older one, and it doesn't have quite as pronounced swirly bokeh effect as I was expecting. But not to worry, what I did do is whilst we sat down for brunch and had a nice time, I logged onto eBay and found a copy of the 44-2 that I could order and it's in the post right now. So hopefully sometime in the very near future, I'll be reunited with the dreamy swirly lens that I have been thinking about for so long. And when it does arrive, I'll be sure to make a video about it on this channel. So thank you.
thank you very much for watching. This is the slightly less loved, slightly older brother to the Helios 44-2 classic, and I think it's a pretty nice lens. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to subscribe. I upload a video on YouTube every single week, and I'll see you in the next one. I am so done.